welcome to ukulele with Lori. Uh, for this video, we're going to be doing um, popcorn popping. So, we already know all of the chords in this song. I'll go over them in just a second after we get tuned. Feel free to rewind that as many times as you need. So, our first chord is a C. Everybody should know C by now. Our next chord is F. Also one of our most common used chords that everybody should know. And then we go G7. So for anybody that's new, C is the third fret of the bottom string. F is the second fret of the top string and the first fret of the third string. G7 is the second fret of the second string. First fret of the third string, second fret of the bottom string. So if you need help with strings and frets and all that stuff, just go ahead and go down the feed and find um, one of the videos that goes over all of the lingo teaching about the ukulele. So let's go ahead and get started on this song. It should be a pretty easy one. So I looked out the window and what? So on what we move to F. Starting with C. I looked out the window and what did I see? So, C to F. What did I see? Pop. So on popcorn, we're gonna move to G7. Popcorn popping on the apricot tree. Lots of movement there. So, if you're a beginner, you don't have to go back and forth. You can do that with pretty much any video. Always just stay on the chord that's played twice. Or no, the chord that's played once, so the one in the middle. Apricot tree. So you don't have to go apricot tree, apricot tree. There you go. <laughs> so I will be doing the movement apricot tree. But remember, you can just go apricot tree. You can do G7 twice instead of C, G7, C. So let's go up to that part, starting with C. I like So that exact same pattern, just remember that pattern. Um, we're gonna do it again for spring has brought me such a nice. So on nice, we're gonna move to F. Nice and bright blossoms. So on blossoms, we're gonna go to G7. Blossoms up right before my eyes. So if you want to move, B. Before my eyes. So before is on C. My is on G7. My eyes is on C. You want to do it the simple way? It's before my eyes. You just stay on G7 the whole time and end on C. Uh, I can take an armful. That is also on C. So back to F for me. Make the treat a popcorn ball. So a popcorn ball is on C. Popcorn ball that would smell. So on smell we go back to F. Smell so sweet. Smell so sweet. Yeah, we stand up. Smell so sweet. It wasn't. So on wasn't we gotta go back to C. I totally forgot about this D minor. But it seemed to me. So for D minor, we're essentially gonna play an F chord. But what you're gonna do with uh, this finger up here on your top string is, if you watch carefully what I'm gonna do here. See how I just folded at that knuckle? So D minor is the second fret of the top and second string, as well as the first fret of the third string. Sounds like this. So you can see me switch between F, D minor, F, D minor, F, D minor. So you can play it however you want to. This is uh, the quickest way for me to do it is to just fold that finger down. But it seems to me. So 
so D minor. But it seems to me. <laughs> popcorn. So I'm popcorn. I'm gonna go back to G7. Popcorn popping on the apron. So apron is on C. Cot is on G7. Tree is on C. That's the advanced version. For the simple version, just stay on G7. Popcorn popping on the apricot tree. Advanced. Popcorn popping on the apricot tree. Down, down, up, down, 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 down. So that is our strum pattern. Uh, let's go ahead and sing through the whole thing. I will go extra slow just because there's, you know, a lot of changing. They're easy chords that we already know. It's just, you know, learning when to change and what one to change to. <laughs> so let's go ahead and start from the beginning, starting on C. I looked out the window and what did I see? Popcorn popping on the apricot tree. Spring has brought me some. Hopefully that was slow enough. Um, if you have any questions, feel free to write in the comments or send me a message or post a video of yourself playing if you would like some really direct feedback on what you can do to make your chord transitions easier or your strumming easier or just anything that you need direct help with. Um, the lyrics with the chords and the finger charts will be down in the comments. So I hope that this was a helpful video and that your primary will enjoy this. I'll see you guys next time.